Hey all everybody! Welcome to Sly 2! Sneak, sneak. sneak. He's, he's sneak. so sneaky. Look at him go. He's sneaking around. Uh, yep. I had some some audio issues uh, before the stream, so hopefully they are resolved. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> at least this, uh, at least this in menu has music. It has music, which allowed me to kind of figure stuff out. Uh, if it is too loud, tell me. If it is too quiet, tell me. Um, also, if it's only coming out of the right ear, tell me. Because that's a weird <laughs> problem that I've had to try and fix. And I don't know if it worked, so... Tell me that too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with that all said, let's uh, jump on and show him. Ranger Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. <laughs> Sounds like I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I'm <laughs> forget it. You're not taking this seriously. <laughs> I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. All right. Whoop, that's yeah. about... Ooh. So, you're in a museum. I see that. For some reason, the clockwork parts are being stored in a museum. Y yeah, that's uh, it's odd. Uh, I still need to fix this balancing thing because it is very much coming through my right ear and not my left. Oh. Uh. Uh. uh... But one difference you will notice immediately is when you look at the top left of the screen, you'll see something there. Is that a health bar? Yes. Do I have health? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You I don't, don't just fix die it. in I'm... one hit. We just kind of put it with it being unbalanced. That's fine. I can I can deal with this maybe. Oh oh oh! That's fixing it. There we go. Uh, I don't think it fixed it for the stream, but it fixed it for me. <laughs> it's fine. I can always fix it in post if I upload it to YouTube. People on stream will just put up with it. Right. <laughs> get on with this. I'm fed up of issues. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Where am I heading? You can figure it out, Rob. Can't break the door. Good to know. Almost as if that bounce pad is there for a reason, perhaps. Oh, there are more bounce pads over here. Oh, no, those they're, aren't they're, bounce pads. Those are just lily pads. <laughs> A different kind of pad. Do not touch, eh? <laughs> Fuck you, Sai. Yeah. And another thing is there's no lives or horseshoes in this game. Oh. So I wonder what the coins could be for. Coins actually used for currency? Maybe. There you go. Hit the lever. I splice the wires. Ow! Hold on. There it is. Yo! Yep. Okay, okay. Let me at that security computer. Alright, off you go. Do your thing. He actually got out of the van. <laughs> I know. 
Clyde. Are we good? There goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. All right. Well, anytime now. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just let you do your thing. Oh, there we go. Presto, all clear. <laughs> Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. Bentley. I'll stay here and provide uh, Bentley. computer support while you go on ahead. <laughs> you are talking very loudly. Like, you are going to alert everyone. It's like, I'll do this thing here and I do this. You sneak it over there. I'm like, everyone can hear you, Bentley. Shut up. <laughs> Didn't you know turtles just can't stop being loud? I mean, I'm I'm breaking. I mean, things. have you ever heard a quiet turtle, Rob? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All the time, yeah. Oh, look at some of those paintings. <laughs> Some of them might look a little familiar. Yeah. Thank you. You're all doing great job. Mugshot. Mugshot, that's it. And the frog guy. Raleigh. And I believe Miss Ruby's somewhere. I think... <laughs> what? I think that might be a drawing one of the dev's children made. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, oh, is that Miss Ruby? There she is. Yep. No, you're just being blind. That's usually the case. No, oh, I can go this way. Yes. Alright. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. I remember. Let's go. Do, 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 do. And you remembered to jump and then hit circle. Good job. <laughs> you learned. <laughs> Look at me go. Also, like, this isn't electrical cable or anything, it's just rope. Why do they have rope hung up all over the place like that? To hang laundry. Um, well, it's not laundry. That's just, <laughs> just banners. Ah, uh, yes. Museum of Natural History banners. My favorite laundry. Yep. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? Ah, there he is. <laughs> God damn it, yep. Murray. Murray, I told you you should stay in the van. What are you doing here? <laughs> I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Oh my god. Could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. The Murray. <laughs> oh yep. So, did I mention Murray's actually not useless in this game? Uh, okay. All clear. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm on the other side, Murray. 
you're good now, man. You coming? Or are you just gonna just gonna sit the? I don't really <laughs> mind, but. Oh, oh, my God. I mean, he can't really follow you very far anyway. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there he goes. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not. I shall bend it like the truth. <laughs> what? What are you? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Murray, what? Murray, you're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Murray, why are you speaking like this? What happened to you? <laughs> oh, damn me. <laughs> I could not wait for Murray to appear. Get it, Sly. The clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox. As beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? She definitely has a different voice the actress. Someone already yep. stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Carmelita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I, 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 I really I, I, don't need <laughs> any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than Sly Cooper. <laughs> after him. Oh my God. Hold still. Okay, we're going. I'm gonna do one of these again. Yep. She's destroying priceless art. Yep. Come on, Mari. Keep up. This is where things get fun. <laughs> Yo, question. Can we get a Sly Cooper and Uncharted, like, crossover? That would be great. You're all going to jail. See up at the rendezvous. You just jumped out a window. I did. Oh, there are police everywhere. Uh-oh. Yeah. Just don't fall down and you should be fine. You can't run forever. Also, Watch don't me. get shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got oh, me. He got shot. But All again, right. you have a health bar. Yeah, it's true. I like this. This is this is the thing <laughs> I like. I appreciate. Also, I love how conspicuous their van is, like... Can you tell who Sly Koopa's van is? I know. It's not like it's got his face there all over go. it. Find you, Cooper! And of course, they have more of these cutscenes. Oh yeah. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. Oh that Constable God. Neela, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue? Or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Mm -hmm. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray. The Braun. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. 
How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now oh. it's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Slide two, Band of Thieves. Oh, baby. That old comic book style. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thanks. Good old autosave icon. Autosave icon. Tells you that the game's being saved. Uh, episode yep. one. And this is that your... Guy. World select, I guess. Uh, all right, yeah, sure. Episode one. Let's go. The Black Shadow. Start episode. Yep. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. <laughs> Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. Kinetic aesthetic. So he what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. All right. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. The Black Shadow. All right. <laughs> and while that was going on, I fixed the balancing issue for the stream. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, long cutscene. <laughs> Yo, we're in Paris again. This is just like the first game. Yeah. You'll notice things are a little more open, however. I Yeah, I can see that. Uh, hi, guys. Press X, two players. Oh. Sell loot and buy gadgets. Well, you can see what you can buy right now. I don't think you have enough coins for anything, but... Connecting to ThiefNet. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger bomb. Fists of flame. Smoke bomb. And yes, you see those icons. Oh, for different you can get abilities not just for Sly, but for Bentley and Murray. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Well, I guess I'll play as Sly. Considering he's your only option right now. Yep. <laughs> Tell you, Bentley, it's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucum. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Alrighty. So yeah, instead of a level-based system, most of your missions will be done in this area, or in areas off of this area. I see. So, get used to this area for this episode. <laughs> And yes, the clue oh. bottles are back. Boy. There are, I believe it's 30 clue bottles per episode. 
Okay. And you do want to try to go after them for this episode, but again, the whole, the whole episode you'll be in this area, so you have plenty of time to go after the clue bottles, basically. Okay. Oh. Money. <laughs> oh. supposed to do that start you'll need to get to the top of that tower then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna if you want to climb on stuff jump and hit the circle button to grab hold try climbing up that pipe right jump and press the circle button to climb pipes i'm on it yeah okay we we good i played the first game and uh <laughs> oh what's up see i can like climb up this too yeah. It doesn't do a huge amount for me, but I did it. I see the dude there. I kind of want to beat him up. Yes. Smack! So, uh, yeah. So you have more health, but so do enemies. Yeah, I noticed that. He, he took a couple of hits. All right, I can deal with that. That's gonna take some getting used to, but <laughs> I'm used to just one hit killing everything. Yeah, Bentley, I got it. <laughs> Don't worry, man, I, I already got it. <laughs> yep. L3? Oh, it's over. Oh, I see. Yep. I get it. What's over there? What are you doing? Are there any balls over there? Uh, I saw one on the balcony over there, but. Uh, I see it. Yeah. Wee. Yep. As you can see, most of these missions. And, well, not most. A good amount of these missions involve you going around the sort of overworld for the level. Well, yeah. I say overworld. There's no levels aside from these. Oh, really? It's not really a... Like, there's different areas in here. Yeah. But... It's not level-based whatsoever. It's well, a ball based ball. on these different open areas. Just, just full down slide. That's fine. I just grab my ball. <laughs> yep. And part of the reason I say don't even, uh, like, only go for the bottles as you see them right now is because you can't get to the vault right now anyway. Oh. So, yeah. See you later, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you assume they can't come after you on the rooftops. Wait, what? <laughs> can they follow me? I up don't here? know if these guys can, but some enemies can. Yeah, I got it. That's why I'm on the rooftop, Bentley. Gosh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yep, so you actually have a run button. I was like, yeah, you seem to move pretty slow in this one. <laughs> no, there, there's a run button. We good? Yep. You won't, you won't be heard as long as you're not using the run button when you move around. Yeah. But if you use the run button, you'll obviously enough be heard. Yeah, yeah. All right, I did it. Yep. Yo, look at all the code. <laughs> Job completed. Nice work, Spy. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. 
Okay. Night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. Get inside. <laughs> you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. All right, I'm gonna go over there and take some pictures of some tail feathers. Yep. That is, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's for reconnaissance. <laughs> <laughs> what is the bottle over there? Grab that. All right. And, and as you'll see, there are some different loading areas for some missions, like this one. Got you. You have like a bit of an indoor area to do. Yeah, and in areas like this, there usually aren't bottles. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. All right. Like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. All righty. You ready? Heads up! If you leave this area, you'll hear the Murray. Yep. So again. Murray's not useless in this game. He's going off and beat him up. Look at him go. Yeah. Fuck him up, Murray. You'll notice he's a lot better at fighting than you are. Yeah. There I figured that already, but but thanks. Like you're on your own from here. Yeah, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. All right. No worries. Oh, uh, my money's gone. Can I break these? Yes, I can. <laughs> can I break these? Oh yeah. Still in your habit of breaking everything you see. Well, they're money, man. <laughs> I'm a thief. All right, I'll do. What kind of thief goes around looking for pennies, though? Why? In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. Uh -huh. yeah, to do that, get near the table and press the circle button. Oh, oh, well, I'm not locked. I can kind of go wherever I want. Okay. Something you'll notice as well, these lasers aren't yellow. No, they're not. They got rid of the dumb system of lasers will notice you once and kill you the second time, because while that was good from a gameplay mechanic for the first game, it made no sense. So, yeah, don't, don't touch lasers, whatever you do. They hurt. There's a dude there. Yes, there is. Like guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. Oh, 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 can he not see me if I get into this one? Uh... Sneaky. Sneaky, sneak. Can I beat him up now? Yep. Uh. No. <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, it's fine. That was my habit from <laughs> Sly One, where you would just sneak behind them and they just beat them up. <laughs> so you know how most of the enemies you fought so far take like two or three hits. Yeah. Uh, the big beefy guard boys like that take a few more. Okay. So even if it wasn't a stealth mission where you just can't be seen, I wouldn't recommend getting into combat with them. Like this way? Yeah, you can just go uh, that way, but... Oh, uh, he sees me if I do that. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. That's fine. We'll go the other way. It's almost as if at some point you'll learn about some sort of a sneak attack you might have that'll let you one-hit kill enemies that are unaware of your presence. Oh, that's pretty good. 
as it is in all stealth games. I mean, yeah. All right. Oh. But nice. currently, you don't know of such an ability. Here we go. Hey, ladies. Got less money. Yeah. You're about halfway towards being able to buy an upgrade. Exactly. All them upgrades, man. All right. All right. This guy turns around. Yep. You can't see me because you don't understand. What? <laughs> there was no light there. I'm, I'm annoyed. That's fine. You were saying? <laughs> Rob, that's what you get for taunting the guards. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's see if you can do it this time. You done? You looking away? He's looking away. All right. Yep. I noticed I picked up health there as well. So that's something. I got a trophy. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. All right. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then the square button to slam and finish him off. So triangle then square is a combo. Oh. Well, that worked, but you have to do triangle square as a combo. Uh -huh. So like quickly. And that's your instant kill move, is triangle square when behind someone who doesn't notice you. Okay. <laughs> You'll get another chance to use it here. Alrighty. There you go. Alright. Yep. So as you can see by the fact that you've failed this mission for being seen and that there's an insta-kill stealth move, stealth's a little more important in this game. Yeah. And specifically you failed by being seen by a flashlight guard. You can do the sneak attack if you don't get seen, but it makes noise, naturally. Yeah. Oh. Are we good? There you go. We're good. Yep. Yo, I can play drums too, watch me. See how good, good I was at that? I, I played the drums so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that guitar I mean, it. You know how at the end of a stereotypical rock show they break the guitar in half? Yeah. You're just, you're doing the opposite. You're breaking the instruments at the beginning of the show. Exactly. I'm just, I'm, I'm skipping to the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation! Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Okay. Tap the, the R3 R3. button, you know, click the right analog stick to bring up your binoculars. 
It's already outfitted with a spy cam. Why, use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Okay. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. Oh. Yep, so that's how you can tell when the shot will work. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are other points that will wear out, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> you, you're close. a little too close, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. Yep. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. Okay. Yep. And, and as you can himself. see, you also need a picture of Dimitri himself. Pretty certain Professor Oak would say, You were close on that one. That was, that was not a good picture. <laughs> yep. But this game's not as harsh as Pokemon Snap because it's not a <laughs> photography game. Pokemon Snap is arguably not a photography game. <laughs> yeah. What the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols. The sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Okay. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. All right. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. All right, thank you for the slideshow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn me. All right, so I can, I can buy things. Do I have enough money yet? I don't think I do. I don't think so. Uh, 200 for Bentley's first ability, 300 for Sly's first. I... Yeah, yes, he just did that last mission, Bentley. Right, okay, cool, thanks. Appreciate it. Uh... Bug Dimitri's office. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm already here, though. What? <laughs> what? You wanna go back in? <laughs> no? What do, you, what do you want from me? Alright, well. I guess that just tells me the quest. Uh... And you've noticed, obviously, there's now the flashlight guards on street level. Yeah. Which... <laughs> you you don't want to be seen by those guys, really. Gotcha. It won't just fail you, because you're not in a stealth mission, you're just in the overworld area, but... They have revolvers. Oh. I guess this is the, the thing I have to do. Alright, hang on. Yep. All right. A painting of me. <laughs> yep. Nice. So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Do you not think he'd figure it out? <laughs> All right. All right. Yep. So back to Sly One mode of don't get hit. Don't get hit. I have plenty of experience of, of not getting hit. Well, that's a guy. You say as you almost run into no, a No, but I didn't though. That's the important thing here. <laughs> I didn't do that. All so right. you may want to actually see where your objective marker is. 
That's what I'm on the first take it back. Oh, over there. Okay. Yep. I see. That's fine. We can do that. That's right. You've learned the rooftops seem to be clear of enemies, so they're yep. a good way to travel when you don't want to get hit. Master of I'm stealth. glad the Outer Worlds is good. I am. Also, I want to give it a go at some point. Um, yeah. Mostly because I like really like Fallout esque games. So. Rob. Oh, I have to There's that right ledge there that you fell off of earlier, yeah, and I that's what brings you to it. To go all the way around. Which makes sense, considering Obsidian worked on both of those. Yeah. Specifically Knights of the Old Republic 2. Knights of the Old Republic 1 was Bioware. Yep. And my favorite games in both of those series were the ones Obsidian worked on. Uh, my favorite Fallout game is Fallout 4, which is an unpopular opinion. Yes, it is. Um, uh, hey, I... <laughs> uh, I I've just, also I... really liked the uh, South Park RPG I've played, which was also by Obsidian. Like I, they just I, make good games. Like I couldn't. I like Fallout New Vegas's mechanics were good. I just couldn't get into the world that they made in New Vegas. I just wasn't as into it. Um, kind of thing. Uh, so you know what I don't get. EA has Bioware. They have the license to Star Wars games. Yep. Why no new Knights of the Old Republic? Because EA wants to get all of the microtransactions. From Instead, Star Wars. they did Mass Effect Andromeda, which sucked. <laughs> yep, and they did. Uh, that's so even game. though it's nighttime, this nightclub is closed. Yep. Never was one for the direct approach. It, yeah, well, it's true. Because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. Alrighty. Yeah, I've also never played any of the old Republic uh, Nice of the Old Republic games. You should You really should. Yeah, okay, really you're not wrong, Oblivion, but how much of how much of uh, Anthem and Mass Effect Andromeda was Bioware's fault, and how much of it was EA's fault? That's the real question. What are you doing? Oh, no, I can't make that jump. No, you cannot. Okay, I must, can I jump on this? I don't think I can jump on the camera. No, nope. sorry, that's. Oh, this is the way to go. Oh. I mean, that's one way to describe it, I guess, Oblivion, but. Oh, God. Yep. Lasers usually mean it's the right way. Yep. Just remember, don't let those lasers touch you or you'll break your, uh... <laughs> don't worry, I got this. Master of Stealth. bad criminal <laughs> yeah it just comes out it's like hey you want to know everything that i'm up to <laughs> here you go <laughs> there's a reason he's the first one you face yeah i know it was based off of the star wars tabletop rpg rules but 
still it's the better way to describe it would be sort of like a mix of classic Fallout and Mass Effect. Got you. Oh baby. Oh baby. No, still don't get hit. All right. Let's keep rolling. All right. Uh, that is a safe. Yes, it is. And tr remember, try to get back without getting hit to get the original painting back. Yeah. So you can sell it and make some money, because money is useful. Money is useful. Money can be used to buy goods and services. But as long as you stick to the rooftops, you should be fine. Should be fine, I think. I don't think this one's going to be too, too bad. Why are you telling me to quit being spotted by them? I haven't been spotted by them since, like, the tutorial level. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> uh. Okay. Quite simple. Just don't fall to the street level. Just make the jump. Yeah, we got. Okay. And let's see if you remember where your base is in this uh, world. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god dang it, Oblivion. <laughs> also, look how hidden your base is with your team's van sticking out the garage. Yep, that's super hidden. No one will, no one will know it's there. Right in front of the nightclub you're coping. <laughs> Deefnet. Yo, so yes. 232. Yep. So, so now you can afford a Sly's ability or Bentley's ability. Skill the vision of your enemies for a hasty getaway. Press X to purchase this power up. Chill. Uh, yeah. Got it. You didn't even read what Bentley's does. Nope. I haven't played as Bentley yet, so. <laughs> yeah. So you'll notice a new meter under your health meter. Yeah. Try hitting triangle. It's not triangle. R1? No, R2. L2. <laughs> Try hitting a button. Oh, duh. Pause. Pause. Oh. You have to equip it. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it might be under... Might be minus, actually. Or, not minus, select. Select. Aha! Yes. You assign it to L1, L2, or R2. Oh. So you can have three equipped at once. L1, 2, or R2. Okay. You don't R2. Now try it. Poof. And that meter below your health went down. It did. Do I have, like, limited use of it? Is that what that means? Yep. You gain back that meter by... I think it's either killing things or collecting coins. Okay. Hey, I admitted full well the game I know best in the series is Sly 1. <laughs> Sly just lets out a big old fart and no one can find him anymore. Yep. Oh, about. And now you know where the safe is, and you have access to the safe whenever you want, so... 
Yeah. Boink. And most of the power-ups you find will use that special meter below your health. Gotcha. I say most, because there's at least one that I doesn't... I'm done. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Alrighty. Down we go. I just intercepted an email from Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to ring the boat's bell when the coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. I realized the audio was coming out of my external speakers again. I fixed that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now can you fix it so I can hear it? Oh yeah, yeah. You need that. There you go. Is that <laughs> there here? we go. Yeah, I can hear it now. Dimitri, nightclub. So, have you heard of follow quests in Assassin's Creed? Oh god, I have to follow this guy. Look yeah. At his truck. You can follow him on street level or on roof level. Okay. But I recommend rooftops. Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yep. What is he? <laughs> Gotta keep it smooth. Hell yeah, Dimitri. <laughs> you got this, man. He's, he's just saying phrases. Yep. Who does this? Dimitri. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it smooth, baby. <laughs> Where is he going? There he is. Honestly, the dialogue alone just makes this so much better than the follow missions in Assassin's Creed. Not to mention, these follow missions are generally shorter. A closer view of what? Keep it smooth, baby. Of him down there. Oh, I need to see what he's doing down on that bit. Got you. Yeah, because there's a keypad. Oh, uh, I need to see what he's doing. All right, that's fine. I can do that. Should we get we get to follow this guy and listen get this to him. Fucking music again. Ramble. <laughs> as he as he goes. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Again, the follow missions in this game are so much better than the ones in Assassin's Creed oh, simply because they are shorter. It's a bottle. But, yeah. Yes, Rob. I, I was surprised that you didn't see that last time. Hey, I'm not the most observant, let's be honest. You say as you look up at this guy for no reason? The reason is, you put the camera closer to it, you can hear him better. <laughs> Fair enough. You can't blame me for that one. 
All right, I need to be able yep. to see the keypad, but also stay Yeah, so stealth. you know where he goes now, so the guards don't go down those stairs, aside from this one. But no, he goes down those stairs from the other way, so you could just... Okay. Obviously, you don't want to be too Keep it smooth, baby. close. Lock tall. Stand tall. Like, Feel funky. Juice. Who's got the right juice? about there should be good, smooth. I think. Dig the kinetic. Kinetic aesthetic. Make art. <laughs> Breathe art. <laughs> Feel art. Be art. Look at him go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't Make really art. see the keypad from here, but uh, I think this is fine. You forget the code. <laughs> hey, Marlo. Hold on. Looks like that door leads to the nightclub's aqua pump. Well, I'll be there. This might be useful for the heist. Job complete. Marlo missed. Most of the best follow mission in gaming. <laughs> oh, maybe you, you noticed something different. Oh, Murray? Oh, God. Yeah. Wow. You gotta go back to the base to switch characters. Alright. All right. Oh. Um. That's fine. We're at it. Oh, he's shooting me. That's fine. Yes, that's, We're right. that's what guns do. Can shoot people, you know. We're good. <laughs> well, Marlo, you'll have to watch the VOD in separate parts because there was a stream crash. Yeah, uh, that was. All right. Uh... Is the bane of your existence the occasional cat noise that pops up in the background of this area? I think I know what you're talking about, and no, not yet. He's found some, but he's definitely not gotten all of them. Okay. Off we go. Yo, Murray! Let's go! Yep. Oh my god. All right, well, Murray so, can't uh, as you climb. Can imagine, Murray can't climb, and he's also not very stealthy. But yeah. he is great at fighting. He can punch, man. Yep, and I believe Triangle does something for him. Yeah, so he can launch enemies into the air with Triangle still. Yeah. Fucked. Again. You want a piece? You want a piece of me? Murray's actually not useless in this game, and it's great. Okay. <laughs> Marlo, I don't know how much you remember of Sly 1, but Murray is so useless in Sly 1. Oh no, I agree. Rob should find all of them for this world, and at least one more specific one. Oh, there's a guy down there. We can get him. And we go. I think I should find all of them in every world. Excuse you. <laughs> oh, this looks different. Back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. All right. Press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Pick up the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I dislike the way that he said that in like a very similar way to how I would have said it. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, the game's trying to insinuate with that. Uh,
That what? No. Nope. If it works, the lasers would be off, Rob. Oh yeah. Try picking up other stuff in the room. I got other stuff in the room. I like this box. Me. <gasps> Oblivion. I don't know how he did that, but... Because of something that happens in a later Sly game, that is just awful, and I love it. Alright, we'll just take the ice. Okay. It's back. Yep, and once you pick him up, you can just throw him into the lasers. <laughs> well, you'll see what I'm talking about oh, whenever God. Rob... Whenever Rob gets to Sly 3. Marlo knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just gotta time this. Just gotta time this. Good, we gotta time this. Time, time, time it. Time, time. Hang on, hang on. There we go. That's the timing. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Noticed. Yellow lasers are ones that you can take out. Red lasers, you just have to dodge around. Can I do anything with this? No. Okay. They have to be on the ground. That was not where you're supposed to that throw wasn't, it. But you know what? No. It's fine. Luckily for you, there's an unlimited supply of French rats. Wow, I didn't realize the French had such a big rat problem. Clearly, you've never been to Paris. I, I haven't, actually. Actually, that's a lie, I have. But I, I haven't really been... <laughs> I've already been around Paris, let's be honest. <laughs> kind of drove through it. I, I've never been outside of the US, except for, you know, this year, to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it. Oh, big boom. <laughs> Those fools! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of wow, love Bedley. Bedley's great. Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers. All right. I will need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the hunt. All right. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Gotcha. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. All right, all right. Bolivian, I'll have you know the French are cheese-eating surrender monkeys. Come on now. <laughs> also, yeah, ever since you put the painting in, you can hear... Yeah, yeah, Marlo, go for it. Ever since you put the painting in, you can hear bits of Dimitri's conversation in your face. Got you. Okay. Uh, where am I heading? So there's a Murray mission and a Sly mission. Uh, 
Alright, I'm sliding And another one. sly one. So, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Oh, head on over. Whee! Oh yeah, this one. Constable Mila, another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that. You can keep up. Literally. Literally. Hey, Veldu. Five, hold down the R1 button to run. You'll right. need it to keep up with Constable Mila. Whoa. What'd you get? What did win? And oh, you've it. already failed. Oh, okay, never good. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. Yo, look at it go. She can do all the things I can do. What is this? But yeah, Marlo, I pulled up a list of what the rewards are for each world, so I'm going to recommend to Rob which uh I'm going to recommend to Rob which worlds he really should try for all the bottles on. And this is one of the worlds that he should try for all the bottles on. Alright. Oh. No. There we go. Uh, bounce, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. What you get? There you go. Hey. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. <laughs> you are right there. She got bored waiting for you. You mm. lost. All right. Hold down the R1 button to run. Yep. Need it to and of course, you don't need to worry about enemies while chasing after her, because she just destroys everything. She's yep. apparently the most powerful force in this world. Well, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, she's she's just as good as me. Like, Except she kills enemies in one hit. Uh, that's true. <laughs> but I'm like, she can do all the crazy jumping acrobatic stuff, but she's got like a whip. That's real cool. When I got this cane, that's neat, but like... Whips, whips and eat too. Rob, you just want to be playing Indiana Jones, don't you? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, none of the Indiana Jones games were like this. No. Girl, where are you going? Where are you leading me? Oh, wow. Well, thanks. <laughs> I don't think I've been over here yet, so there's a few that I've just noticed. Yeah. You've not Actually, really been this way. No, 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 you're, you're just yep. breaking shit for the sake of breaking shit now, girl. <laughs> yep. Oh. Up. The fact that she breaks things is actually a way to get her to slow down a little. Yeah. So we should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained the key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he Oh wants. really? We are absolutely going to work well together. There have been some Indiana Jones platformers. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, don't Excuse take me. damage. <laughs> you don't want to take damage while you're holding art on your back. Nope, 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 nope. Alright. I see you strutting over that. 
Oh, why is my watch so dead? Get up on the... Uh... There we go. I can get some of these bottles that are glittering around here. Now that I've told Rob once again that I recommend he gets all the bottles in this world, he's really going for them. I mean, you saw me like last in the last game. You know what I'm like for collecting these things. If 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 you know, yeah, it's within reason. Um... Gotta find them all. Also, look more art. More art. Look at all this art. You can only take one. Uh, sorry. Get bigger pockets, man. But yeah. Theoretically, you can get all of the bottles and get the safe at any moment now. Okay. But I would recommend until you get to the final mission, just collecting them as you go. And once you get to the final mission, going around the world and doing the last cleanup of getting all the bottles. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, I can't make it this side. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure you did, Marlo, and that's why you always found it so tedious. <laughs> and yeah, there's a few enemies on rooftops now. I see that. Oh, there's all that. Sly 2, I've played a good bit. Sly 3, it's been a while since I've actually played, so I'm gonna have to play through it again when Rob finishes Sly 2. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you've probably got a while before pulled, I, I play anymore. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, like, Sly 3, I'm pretty sure I've only played through the once, so... Alright. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, Bentley, my man. No, I didn't want to play as uh, you. I wanted not... to buy things. Hang on. <laughs> you have to press left one more time to go to the computer. Ah. I see. Deep now deep. that you have access to all of the characters. Crystal shots. Yep. Speaking of access, you can now also buy the trigger bomb if you wish. Yeah. I don't know what it does, but we'll grab it. <laughs> and you can equip it because you need to play as one of the three. Yeah. You have yeah. a mission for each of them. Okay. Uh, wrong Select. One. That one. There we go. Uh, put you on there for now. Uh, trigger bomb. Yep. Throwable bomb with remote detonation. Press R2 to aim. Press R2 to throw. I throw. And then R2 to trigger. Okay. Cool. Neat. Uh, triangle triangle. Triangle is back because yeah. PlayStation 2. And the thing you'll notice with this, you don't have a special meter right now. These trigger bombs are just free. And something you absolutely want because Bentley is garbage at combat. <laughs> they never learn, man. They never learn. They never learn to just look up the ramp slightly. Oh, they learned. They, they learned. learned. They learned. <laughs> <laughs> Bentley, you have a crossbow. So, can you shoot it? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can shoot it, but the game's not taught you how yet. But you're not being chased anymore. So, uh, enter your first person camera. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Right. Yep. That's how you shoot the crossbow. I see. And the crossbow has sleep darts, naturally. An unlimited supply, because they were nice. <laughs> you were like, oh, you don't need ammo. Bentley's main thing about. is... 
any sort of technology. So crossbow is technically technology. Explosives are technology. Yeah. He's all about the gadgets. Yep. Also, if it wasn't obvious enough, when you are going for all the bottles, you should go around as sly. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of terrifying. All right, where am I? Where, where, Bentley? Where are you supposed to go? Then? Basically, where you ended the last mission. So keep going along that way. Yeah, I think it's like this way, right? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's around there. Okay. Yep. Oh, yep. Ball up there, and I can't get it because I'm the wrong And guy. I don't think you've tried all your buttons with Bentley yet. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. You can just place a bomb next to you. So the idea with Bentley is once you knock an enemy asleep, you go up next to them and place a bomb, or you use one of your remote bombs. I see. Oh, not the right thing. It helps if you hit the right button. I don't remember what button that is. Don't know. He's, he's, he's down there. That's not what I want to do. Right. Right it. But it'll tell you eventually anyway. Yeah, that, they'll they'll teach me. Probably in this level. Like Until that, then, just avoid all enemies. Yep. For all time. Yep. It never. No, I can't even. Marlo, how was I disrespecting Bentley? I said he's awful at combat. <laughs> he's not lying. Okay, Bentley. To get past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. Right. And of course, the trigger bombs work almost exactly the same, except you choose now, them. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. Press the R3 button. Right analog stick yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> and then tap the R1 button to fire a dart. Oh, okay. No, wrong thing. That, I am pressing all the buttons. There we go. There we go. Okay. I got you. Yes. Yes, Marlo. And I've never once said Bentley's useless. I've said Murray was useless in one. He was. How you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine, I'm just fine. <laughs> I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its mooring. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving, keep safe. Oh my god, Bentley. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he didn't go by that yet in Sly 1. In Sly 1, he was just Murray, and he was a coward. And Murray. useless. Murray was, was pretty useless and annoying to, to be around. Uh, drop bomb hit. What do I want me to do? Yep. All right. He wants you to drop a bomb at the support pillars. Drop bomb. So now that you've gotten enough experience with this gameplay style, you also can't shoot through those fences. I see that. Ah, there you go. Now that you've had enough experience with this gameplay style, what are you thinking so far compared to Sly 1? This is very weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like playing as Sly. I, I, I kind of like the idea of like going around the world and, and just sort of prepping for like a big heist kind of thing. Yeah. But like, yeah, playing as the other characters is kind of weird because it's just so different. Okay. The, if you knock him out now, he'll just wake up before you get over there. I mean, that's, that's a good point. Also, don't forget your trigger bombs for if you want to do it at a bit more of a distance or anything. That's true. 
because again, those are absolutely free. Yeah. Oh baby, look at all that money! It just came right to me. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad when you finish this episode because there's not gonna be any more of this music. Alright, where else do we need to go with this one? Okay. That's the one I always miss when I'm going through because you can't really see it. Yeah. Luckily, it's right near the other one, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it is. There you go. Brought a present for you. Yep. Stealth. Stealth. Look at me, stealth. Bentley, we felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. <laughs> Job complete. Yeah. Yep. All right, now I gotta get out. Okay. Is there anyone actually left in here? Oh, there's some lasers on the ground. Yeah, you've you've killed all the guards, I think. Yeah. Oh, can I go up there? Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't actually get up into the <laughs> I tried. Nice, Bill Duke. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll just run all the way around. Can I run with you? I can't. Oh my god, look at him go. Yep. <laughs> you can do it, man. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh I guess I still have to kinda get out of here, don't I? Alright, back to back to base. I see they put these guys back now that I know what I'm doing with them. Yep. Oh man. You gonna, you gonna come out? There we go. And also, I know most, like, all of you here already know it, but Rob didn't put it in his title, so I'm just going to say this is a blind playthrough. Yeah, that's true. It's blind. I don't know anything about this game. The only thing he knows about Sly Cooper is from what he played in Sly 1. Basically. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> you did miss. There we go. Alright. Alright, I got that one. <laughs> there you go. You were trying to get both of them. I was trying to get both. I thought I could get both. I was being greedy. Mm, you were being very greedy. Alright. Yep. You're almost back at your base, I think. Yeah. yeah it's just nice to do that. And you have a Sly mission and a Murray mission. Yep. Personally, I would recommend doing the Sly one next because of what it teaches you. Because there's one last ability Sly has that you haven't really been taught yet. Oh, 
Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. I am missing with this more than. Yes, oh, you are. I hit the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. All right. Go sleep again. <laughs> and you. That's it. That'll get both of them. Alright, then we get back in the house. It's where you belong. Yeah. <laughs> I believe after this set of missions, you'll be at the heist. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Sly? That's what I recommend next is the Sly mission. Yeah. Let's, uh... Do -do -do -do. Uh, where's that? That's over there. Alright, let's go. Up, up. Oh. All right. Ready on the rooftops. You gotta remember there's enemies on the rooftops now. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that guy nearly shot me, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> God. You've got two thirds of them currently. That's not too bad. Yep. And, and the, yeah, they give you so many trophies in this game. I I gathered by the fact that I've got quite a few and I've not really done much. <laughs> Lucky for you, the enemies, if they're above a high area, when you knock them off, will just die. Okay, but there's this small stuff. Strike from above. Just forgetting your stealth move. Whoa, hi. You jump back up. Jeez. Yeah. Excuse you. Real good. Background. Background. And that's probably that too. Up, 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 up. Yeah, the small ones are, are kind of tough, and they, they jump around a lot. Which I realize. Yeah. yeah, which is why you should stealth kill them. You should just stealth kill everything when you can. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think of getting the drop on him and just hitting him from that height, you know, I'd do it, but no, it didn't. <laughs> oh, hi. You are, uh... Okay, Sly. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. Okay. If take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel. But you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. All right. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. All right, how to do that? Pickpocket guards, sneak up behind them, and press the circle button. Okay. Yep. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And you notice how these guys have a golden glow in their wallets. Oh, you have to pickpocket multiple times for basically every enemy that you pickpocket. You have to pickpocket multiple times to get the true thing you're Aha. after. So, have you noticed that some of the enemies have had glowing pockets other than these guys? Nope. <laughs> That's because they can have treasures in their pockets uh -huh. that you can sell for money. Uh -huh. So, keep an eye out for that while you're going around everywhere. Oh, I need more keys. I need six. Yeah, you okay. need six keys. And also, you don't who, have to worry about... When you get hit, Who has their fan control system locked behind <laughs> six separate keys? <laughs> who does that? I'm like, oh man, I want to I, I wanna turn the fans on. It's going to be hot in here. All right, let me gather the six guys to go and turn the fans on. <laughs> 
<laughs> These six guys who have special keys that will get destroyed if they get attacked. Like. So if one of these guys gets attacked, you can never access your fan controls again. Oh, fuck. He turned around. It's okay. That's not the button. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. We're good. We're you good. Can't attack them. I, I, I can't. We're at it. Whoop. Whoop. Gotta try to hide. Oh god, there's a guy up here too. All right. Yep. You could also just attack one of them and accept it as a failure and try again. Oh. Oh. Nada. Nada. It would be faster than dying, which is what Nada. you're about to do. We're good. <laughs> Who's gonna die? Not me. You. You are. I'm not gonna die. Yes, you are. <laughs> Also, Marlo Dimitri's just the best character in the series. Is that a, is that a, like, a matter of fact? <laughs> and of course, remember, after you've pickpocketed them, you can kill them. But also remember, you make noise oh, when dead. you attack. <laughs> God, why would you tell me that? <laughs> you just try to lure me into dying. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. So, you still have the two keys you've collected, so you can just kill this guy. Yeah, I can. Or you can pickpocket him for coins. Alright, we're good. Uh, uh, now this time maybe don't destroy the cover you hide behind. Here go up the sides. How are you doing? Marlo, you can DM me your favorite. Bang control. Smack. There's one the guy. Cameron, thank you. I thought so. Yep. Smack. There you go, you're doing so much better. Okay. <sighs> There's only two more keys you need. And you still go around breaking stuff. It's in my blood, all right? I <laughs> just gotta break things. What reason did you have to break those things? They look like they could be interacted with in some way. And yet you don't break the briefcase, which probably has money because it's a briefcase. Nah. Rob. Also, yeah, that guard's watching a TV with nothing on it. He just really likes watching the the the, white the static. Static. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Keeps falling asleep to it. I know plenty of people that did this, actually. Smack. 
Now he's dead. I murdered him. <laughs> and again, you avoid the briefcase. I mean, that's sort of luggage. I don't want to break that. You're fine with breaking the electrics in this building and possibly starting a fire? Yeah. You know <laughs> Okay, I need to get to the other side of these cards. Can I do it? Yeah, no, I knew I knew people fell asleep to white noise, not to like just having their TV on static though. Oh yeah. Well obviously these days not so much because TVs don't do that, right? Uh, yeah. But when I was younger, uh, I regularly uh, found like my grandparents and stuff that were like asleep and like had just had static on the TV. Uh, usually though it was i think it was more so that they were watching something and in in those days like the channels just died at some point like they stopped broadcasting so it just went to static <laughs> yeah that didn't happen with most channels in the u.s at that point but there were a few and that guy has your last key because his pocket's glowing all right, got it. There's monster stuff here, I think, right? Yeah. I'm sure there is, Veldu. This is... It was way cooler in the first game. Because he'd just go up and just be like, Futa! and just throw like six keys at something. <laughs> this is like, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay, did that lower it? It did slow the fans. Like, they're not going now. Okay. See, Rob, your true goal here is to save them money by lowering their electricity costs. Yep, that's why I broke the electrical circuits. I mean, what? <laughs> Can't waste money on electricity if there is no electricity. <laughs> true. <laughs> Congratulations, you managed to climb on the wrong fans, but it's fine. You can still jump up there. There you go. What is this? Excuse me? What, don't you have that in all your chandeliers? <laughs> oh my god, he's got a gun on it! <laughs> Guards don't notice a thing, despite the fact that the gun on the chandelier was shooting a bunch of shit on the wall. <laughs> They're like, what? Well, I see it. Do you see it? I mean, oh, in the know. game's defense, I think you were expected to have killed them all by this point. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the oh, keys look. are fragile. They're look. special. It's me. I was yeah, the spotlight's there. changed to your face. <laughs> Again, you're the least subtle thief ever. <laughs> oh my god. You can pickpocket all the guards around the nightclub. Try to find guys carrying shiny loot in their back pockets. Got you, Bentley. Yeah. Gotcha. Specifically, the bigger flashlight guards tend to have better treasure, I believe. Like, that guy has treasure, his pocket's glowing. Yeah. And the thing about the treasure you pickpocket oh. is. Oh, fuck! He got me! Well. Yeah. You touched him. But you used your smoke bomb effectively. I did. I remembered I had On it. accident. 
No, I remembered I had it. That's because I used it on accident yeah, earlier. He, 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 he was, uh... That guy still has the treasure, though. He does. He's Just, you know, uh, pickpocket him without bumping into him, perhaps. I'm expecting him to stop. There we go. There you go. Silver, Silver watch. watch. And you can carry as many of these treasures you pickpocket from the guards as you want, so basically just pickpocket away on your way back to the base. Smack. Hi there. Alright. See you. Yep. See you. He's got the glowy pocket. And basically, by the time you get back to base from all this pick... I got too close again. Remember, your cane has reach. Yeah, yeah. They stopped there. They're just going to turn around once they... Yeah, I was just waiting for the light to... Okay. But the one who has the treasure is in the front of that crew. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not worth it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, your computer crashed. Yeah. I do hate it when my entire computer crashes. So. It happens, unfortunately. Yeah. Happens to me a lot. <laughs> it did. <sighs> Ooh, that guy has treasure. He does. I don't see anyone else around, so let's go. Now remember, your cane has a good amount of reach. See? Gold, Gold watch. watch. Hell yeah. Oh no, my PC's not old at all. Oh, I, okay. Well, I'm out of here. Like, you say it has a good amount of reach, but, like, so many times where I've tried to do, like, the sneak move, I miss because I'm not close enough. But then the follow-up okay. attack does hit, and I'm like... Pickpocketing. <laughs> Pickpocketing has lots of reach. God. <laughs> All right, Bentley. Sell your stuff, and then if you can buy that, oh, which you can't okay. quite. This is worth for a little bit. Yeah. You can... Go be Murray, though. Punch, thanks. Let's go. And Murray... Murray can't pickpocket. <laughs> Bentley can't pickpocket. Where am I heading with you, Murray? Go this way? Yeah. Oh, there's a dude. Can I confront these guys with Murray? Oh, absolutely. Alright, cool. There you go. Hi. They still shoot you, but Murray oh, yeah. can take them. Yeah. Two hits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Murray. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. <laughs> Murray, like, what happened to you? Who who <laughs> filled you with this much confidence? <laughs> oh, hey -o. Yep. Once you hit one, an alarm goes off. But that conveniently brings in enemies, which you can use to hit it more. We're good. But yes, that is useful to me. Uh, right. I will check if Murray's voice actor changed. I feel like it did. 
Uh, or maybe I it's just that he's Bentley's maybe the, the it's, it's it's just having like a uh, he's having like this this crisis going on right now where like he's he's acting like some sort of mm, superhero. Same voice actor. Yeah, like he's it's because he's acting like a superhero rather than how he was in the first game. So like he's yeah he's putting on like this persona. <laughs> Excuse me, this guy just threw a freaking stick of dynamite at me. Alright. Did I miss one? Right. Uh, basically the only character whose voice actor changed is Carmelita, Carmelita Fox. Carmelita's voice actor. And you can expect her different. voice act. You can expect her voice actress to change two more times. Oh my god, really? It changed each game. Oh my god. <laughs> like, she's obviously one of the main characters. All the other main characters stuck with it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You know what I kind of like? The fact that the, the health recovery noise reminds me of a sound effect from Earthbrand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that fits. Oh. Get out of here. Uh, I need another suitcase. Yeah, get right. All right. <laughs> Murray faced his shadow. Take this, newspapers. Uh, Rob, take, take circle this that. news. Oh my god. Yep. I just have an endless supply of newspaper. <laughs> that I can that throw. you can throw. <laughs> Where am I going now? Where's my next one? I'm in this way? Okay, cool. Help oh, this dude. Hi -oh. Read all about it! <laughs> well... Before the heist, you'll be able to buy Murray's power up at least, because you've definitely got enough coins Whoa. after this. That was too high. It's yeah. Okay. We good. The rest of the, this way. All right. Also, soon you're gonna have to go around and hunt for the rest of the bottles. Oh. Okay. Because I believe this is the last mission before the heist. Yeah! Job complete. Okay, fellas. The dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big <laughs> <laughs> I love how it was upside down. <laughs> into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot. You'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. Oh my god. <laughs> if my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. Okay. Delph. Bentley, just, just, you're supposed to be a tech guy. Why are you using, like, a slideshow projector thing from, like, <laughs> like the 80s or 90s? Like, what are, what are you doing? Rob, you know better than most that tech guys love old technology as well as new it's technology. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so, I would do two things. I would buy Murray's ability now. I bought it? Oh, I can. No, I can't. One coin away. One coin That's away. fine. 
I would All switch right. to Sly and go after the other bottles then. Because your right. next mission is the heist. Okay. Let's find some bottles. Find some bottles. Also, you can break, like, anything to get that one coin. That's true. You could pickpocket that guy. Well, not anymore, but he had treasure. Oh. Yeah, these guys can have good things in their pockets as well. It's only the flashlight guards who will ever have keys, I believe. But if you need to pickpocket keys, they'll tell you, so. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Take that. All right. Uh, bottles, 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 bottles. That all the bottles. I think I can hit it. Just up here. Uh huh. Yep. Four more. All right. Overall, when you were only missing five by the time you got to the heist, that's not too bad. Yeah, I generally try and go for things that I can see them. I saw one over here at some point, but maybe more. You got the one behind the clock tower already. Okay. Uh, yeah. Basically just wander around and listen for that lovely noise. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There's definitely still one that I missed over here somewhere. Yeah. Hold on a second. Go oh, back. I have been. I have been. Or not. Spotted. Oh well. Yeah. Anyway. I thought I may have seen a secret, but it doesn't matter. It wouldn't have been a bottle anyway. And I didn't see a secret, so you're fine. I saw the other side of the wall. Oh okay. There is still that art piece you never got as well, though. Oh yeah, there is. Let's grab that while we're here. Just don't get hit. The good oh, news no, is, no. if you do get hit, it'll just respawn up there, I believe. Probably. There it. Oh no, it's not. That's just the thing. Is it? The thing you th were thinking of might have been the art piece, but Maybe. you're missing four. They're all outside somewhere. Because right. didn't you know that's the best way to keep your safe code secure? Yep. Lit into 30 bottles and keep them all outside on rooftops of random people's homes? Yes. <laughs> I, I agree with this. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is basically the one world where even if I looked up a guide on where the bottles were to help you, the guide wouldn't be very helpful in this world. I hear it. Yeah. It's down here somewhere. Some of them are on street level, so it could be on street level. There it is. Could be right there. Got it. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Well, there goes the art. See you later. Can I just jump up from here? Nope. Nope. You really can't. Okay. There we go. Alright, how many am I missing? Three? Three. Right. Also, as you can see, you have to be Bentley to start this heist. But also, it's right next to the base, so oh, it's it not is. really... Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yep. So there's two left after that.
He has coins, but he doesn't have any treasure. Oh, fuck. I got too close again. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is bad. Uh, Excuse me. Thank you. Nope. No, no, no. No, you didn't see anything. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, that guard in the back there, well, now the front does have treasure, but you're not gonna get to him. Uh, I don't like pickpocketing. I'm not good at it, apparently. Well, you'll have to get good at it. Your problem is you keep getting too close and bumping into the enemy. Yeah. Hey, there's one more. You went around the outside rooftops last time you went around, so maybe go around the inside rooftops this time. Mm -hmm. Oh! I hear it, there it is. Yeah. Only one left, and then you'll have to go back into the nightclub to... That's not Ooh. what I wanted you to do. There we go. <laughs> I hear it again. Where is it? It's around here somewhere still. Yes, it is. It's right there. I see it. Okay. the nightclub. Remember where you went in when you switched the paintings? It was over on this left side, right? Yes. Alrighty. We can hear some of that. Do I go in through the window up there. up there? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Nice. Wait, can I even get into there now? You can get back in there, I just don't entirely remember how. Yeah, I think I can get around this way. Yep. Alright, cool. And we go again. Yeah, I think so as well, but it'll be right back there when he comes back out. Oh no, he still has it. No, we didn't. Alright, where was the safe again? In Dimitri's office. Oh boy. Well, he did this last time without getting hit. But this time, one of the janitors noticed him. It's true. You might want to go ahead and just use R1 to move faster and not in a combat style. Oh, uh, yeah. There's that door on the ground you can just go through since you unlocked it from the other side. That door right there. If you get to it, or you can go this way, sure. You good? Well, these janitors are only in this area. But yeah, most worlds tend to have, like, three basic enemy types. Yeah. I 
I am sneaky. Yes. You should be, considering you're a thief. It's kind I, of the idea. You, you'd, you'd think so. You'd, you'd think so. All you right. would think so. Asta, are. look on the... It's the fake painting. And there's oh, an aquarium. Yeah. Like the little... It's me. Like, yeah. like he doesn't realize. Like, why? I know! <laughs> Also, they made opening the saves so much better, but still annoying. Alright. Like, when you have the code, it should just enter it. Oh, oh you. Two. What? Rob, you hold the direction on your joystick. So, like, hold up right to go three. Okay. And this move will feel very familiar to you. <sighs> oh, do I have to equip it? <laughs> yeah, and it's not triangle. It's not triangle. Balls. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure, I'll stick you on that one for now, I guess. And go ahead and that's, just try it out. That's definitely the one I want to press. That's also the one, the one I want to press. There we go. Right. Yeah, go ahead and try it out. It's exactly the same. It takes up a little of your stamina. But yeah, I figured you would want that move. Yeah. Almost as if it's the only useful move in Sly 1. And honestly, it kind of is. Yeah, you know, as much as I like a couple of the others that turned up, like, they weren't necessarily the most practical. <laughs> okay, uh, just My favorite one that I don't think you got to see is there's a decoy one where Sly basically puts up a cardboard cutout of himself. Oh my god, that would have been great. <laughs> I, wish I, I yeah. wish I had got that. <laughs> The thing with Sly 1 is it, it it has a lot of replay value in terms of trying to get those kind of thing. Because you yeah. can just like replay through a level and, and get all the balls on them. And it's uh, it's not really that much of a time sink to do that, generally, because the levels aren't super long. And most of the levels are enjoyable. Yeah. yeah the, the ones that have the balls in anyway. <laughs> Well, even then, most of them. The, that one swamp level I cannot stand. Because it makes you backtrack like four times when you're getting all the bottles. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, and you should buy Murray's thing. Got it. And we made back out. And you're not going into the next level with nothing. Gotta be Bentley to start the... Alright. Just next time you're Murray, remember to equip his ability. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. Oh. I'm being yep. accompanied. Alright, water tower. You are being accompanied, so you don't need to worry about being stealthy, because Murray will protect you. Because he's not useless them. in this game. I cannot stress this enough. He is not useless in Sly 2, or Sly 3, Murray, or Sly Murray, 4. Go, go fight them, Murray. Go do it. That's it. Beat him up. But in Sly 1, he is so useless. I'll toss you up there. Oh, you'll toss me up? Alright. Yep. Jump. Jump in circle. As if you're Sly. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, this throw might take a few tries, admittedly. It's a little awkward, I remember. Do that. Where we yeah, that's where you're going. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you, you should try again now. 
All right. Got you. All right, here we go. I'll do. Ooh. Close enough. <laughs> I need to focus. Which valves Puzzle time. To divert water pressure from the plaza? Oh, God. The flow of water through a valve. Rob. I should press it's not hard. Button. Hang on. There's five things. Each have two possible positions. All right. So I, I have to do this one at least. Oh, I see. I understand. I understand how it works. All right, that goes into that. Uh, I need to stop this one. So let's just give this a twister. Oh, no. Oh, now there's more water going all over the shit. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so. Uh, 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 all right, I'm gonna, what happens if I twist this one? Oh, well, it's, it's... Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure the puzzle is just twist all the valves once. Twist this one. And then there's that final one on the left there. This one again? No, 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 the one to the right. You haven't twisted this one yet. This one? Left. Rob. Rob. This one? I yes. twisted this one. No, you have. Okay. <laughs> the water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. All right. It's off, all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Take pocket the keys to his That's repair the repair guy. guy? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Now the time fuck? to pickpocket the key. Also, he has some mice following him. I see that. So you got to take those mice out first. Oh boy. So, stealth attack, get away before they turn around. Alright. Oh, there's my stops following him, actually, so... It's a little harder when they're walking, admittedly. But, you got it. Well, this is the problem. Like, every time I've done it, they've been moving. It's when they stop moving, and I keep moving, that I run into <laughs> them. Like... <laughs> yep. Alright, where am I heading now? What am I doing? Back over this way? Alright, cool. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's you guys. Um... Okay. <laughs> yeah, those are your friends. I was like, there are people running at me. <laughs> Let's head out for the repair truck. Uh, repair truck. If I remember Jeez. correctly, it's by the gate area. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Got you. Off we go. <laughs> Rob's got to get all his skills leveled up. Just in life. Wow. Come. And you've still got Murray following you, so even if you did get seen, it wouldn't have been the biggest deal. Ah, it's right here. Told you it's by the gate. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick shift. Oh my <laughs> god, Murray. We need to get a position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. So climb on top of the peacock sign. You already have done that once. I have. Yeah. Let's see if you remember how you did it. Here, and then along here. Good enough. Left theater. <laughs> Right now. Get ready 
Okay. Oh, oh god, this is me. Uh oh. The toe harpoon. Excuse me? Yep, yeah, that's 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 how towing works. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was really close. There you go. Gotta defend the truck. Alright. Yeah, when you're defending something, the guards do not focus on you at all. Forget the move you equipped on L1 as well. Yep, I tried triangle and I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw. The majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Ben. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be that easy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why would there ever be a boss fight of any sort? Nah, that would that wouldn't happen. <laughs> so raccoonus do this. Right totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, though, I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Look, send me the money. Your life. <laughs> you can take all you want. I can't get no deal. You and the rest of the clogging have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Show me a little mind when talking about touch. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. <laughs> what is you this guy? Again, best character. Let's dance. Off it goes. And this boss music. Oh my god, this guy. Fantastic. Right. Whoop. I just have to get OT. Is that the goal? Okay. You've taken a lot of damage. Yeah, I have, and he's not taking much. Alright, there is there is probably a trick to this. I'm not really seeing. Your knockout dive isn't that useful in a boss fight. There is a trick to this that you're not seeing, and after you die, I'll tell you. Wow. Okay, so when he's shooting after three or so shots, he... <laughs> I forgot they have that. Yeah. But after three or so shots, he overheats his hand and he has to re like let it cool down. So that's when you get close. You see that? How he's shaking it? Yeah. There you go. Okay. That's when you get close. And then you just keep attacking him until he gets far away again. Also, don't don't walk into him. 
There we go, that's... Yep. And based on his health, I would say you probably have to do that three times. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, yeah. Yep, so it's four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, health. You might, you might want to pick the health up. Where? Oh. You, you should have picked the health up. I didn't see it! Nice use of your dive to avoid the shot. I never understood what he's shooting from. Is he shooting from his hand? Is he uh, magic? Uh, maybe. Because he doesn't have a gun. Yeah, it might be the ring. What? Because Rob forgot about the run button. And Rob still's forgotten about the run button, even though I just told him. What do you mean I've still forgot about it? I acknowledge what you said. <laughs> and you're not using it to get close to him. I don't need to. I'll just wait until he freaking times out. <laughs> When I was trying to rush it, I died a lot. Yeah. Let's be honest right now. But in that time, I took barely any damage. You actually didn't take damage. No, I think I got hit at least once. Nope. Oh, okay. and my counterfeiting operation. It's past tense. Doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You... Cracker box! <laughs> you cracker box. What? Uh, man. <laughs> the British spelling of favor in the subtitles. <sighs> My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape oh, got God. a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. <laughs> I love it because Again, she's I got an obsession with me. Everyone else gets put in prison. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And one nice thing about the format of this game is it's really easy to basically just stop when you want to stop. That's it, because it's like episode based. It's pretty cool. Well, uh, not even just episode based, but like you can stop after a mission quite easily and just come back another and just day. Just come back to it. Yeah. That's true. Uh, how many episodes are there? Eight. Eight. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Normally you'll be getting through probably about two episodes a stream, but considering this was your first stream and you had tech issues, I highly <laughs> doubt that's gonna happen now, yeah, considering it's sure. almost six. I'm not sure we're gonna get through the entirety of this episode, but we'll give it a go. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta 
He started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige. And maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. Yeah. Illegal spices. Illegal In other words, spices. this guy's a drug lord. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, damn me. They drove from France to India, I guess? Yeah. I mean, in the first game, they drove from France to, like, America. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to explain that one? <laughs> Driving from France to India... That's it's actually feasible. <laughs> they could do that. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. And All yeah, right, can we play Sly you're for back again? to only yeah. being able to play a Sly for now. But... Oh boy. They have watch guard elephants. Of course. And naturally, with a new episode, there's new skills you can buy from the store. Yeah, I figured that'd be the case. It'd be kind of dumb if there were only, like, three in total. <laughs> and these... let me look at the Whoa. skill you get from... Heyo! You're timed at this one, because it the loot's oh, trapped with a bomb. Uh oh. Alright. So, yeah. This world, I would go for the bottles as you see them, but if it comes to the final heist mission and you're still missing, like, ten bottles, I just wouldn't bother. Rob. Right Rob. The cave, right there. Okay. You go up that. <laughs> go badly. I got a, got a, a burial urn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, size destabilizer. Shrink guards by whacking them with your crossbow. Press X to purchase this power. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, turnbuckle launch. Jump extra high. Press X to purchase this power. Oh. Okay. That's pretty cool too. Combat dodge. Size up enemies in combat. Press the X to patch it. Oh, it's just press X to patch it. Oh, it's because you press other buttons to do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, combat dodge sounds useful when I'm, like, playing a sly, so... Yes. I'll, I'll grab that. You'll notice how so far all of the skills have been useful. <laughs> uh, um, Alright, let's stick you on L2, I guess. And I assume this one doesn't take any uh, your stamina. Hey, okay. oh, the dodge does though. Well, that was L one. Yeah, the, no, I I was seeing if it took up thing because I didn't realize whether it did or not. Either. Yeah, the dive does, but it takes up a very small amount. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, where am I? How do I? What what, what do I? <laughs> Again. Not conspicuous at all. Nope. Yeah. I, <laughs> Just yeah, parked yeah. it in the middle of a cave. Ooh, spy jump. There's a drawbridge up. The only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spy or jump? Of course I do. You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? When I <laughs> their pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button. Come on now. Form a ninja spire landing. <laughs> but you forgot how to turn now invisible. Slide. He did forget to turn invisible. You uh, forgot it's... the greatest of the Cooper family thief like, moves. The, the most useful thing, uh, being able to turn invisible, doesn't remember it. Uh... 
Come on, Sly. <laughs> <sighs> what? Uh, that, that's still gonna happen, apparently. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, I'm here now. <laughs> well, the thing is, he forgets all of the skills you unlock, but, like, the movement ones, he remembers every other one that he got in Sly 1, he just doesn't remember turning invisible. I can get all the way over that. Can I not lower the drawbridge? Is that not my aim? That'll be your aim at some point. Okay, alright. That's not what I wanted. That's the one I wanted. This guy's going for me. Monkey, no! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. Like, when you're a kid, you know how to be happy. Why and then the when fun? you're older, you forget how to. Okay. Uh, yep. You, you, you definitely want me. Yeah, so these guys don't have guns. They just throw swords at you. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's something. And these goat guys are very agile, despite being goats. Yep, that oh, a <laughs> And when I say very agile, I mean they can jump from the ground level to the rooftops. Okay. Who knows, Veldu? Alrighty, alrighty. Where, where? I'm sort of going all the way over there. Yep. Honestly, I find this world... I find the first world is the hardest one to navigate because everything tends to look the same in that world. Like, yeah, there are definitely some key locations that you learn, but... It feels very samey. This world, however... Also, worlds like this, like, this world's a lot less flat. Yeah, I get that. Which I really like. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. All right. We'll figure it out. Don't don't you worry. I got this. Yeah, no way to climb up to the door, Bentley says. Uh, There's but... trees everywhere next to it. Like, come on, Bentley. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? I thought you were the smart one, Bentley. I don't know, right? <laughs> Right, okay. Uh, don't go onto the balcony. Can yep. I break the door? No. It was telling you what to do. Get close to the balcony, like under the curtain, and use your binocicom. Oh. Picture taking time. Picture time. Alright. Snap. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. How did he weld the wings to that statue? Those wings didn't melt in lava. 
is a good point. <laughs> welding, welding is when you melt the metal to attach it to the same kind of metal. So for starters, his throne's made of that metal. <laughs> uh, all right, where is uh, where's the dude? Where is he? Oh, he's up there. I see him. That's his that's his booty. Look at that booty shot. Oh, baby. Maybe you should get some shots of the guest. Yeah, now pull your camera out again. More pictures. Jean Bisson. <laughs> so you'll never guess who Marlo said her favorite character is. Another Claw Gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Jean Bisson. It's because he's Canadian. Uh, well, that's a spider. Oh, she's. she's uh, come back. She's. That's the Contessa. A high ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. How can you work undercover when you're a spider lady? You're a spider lady. Isn't it obvious who you are? Like... <laughs> oh, the other guests will come out at some point, I assume. Uh, eventually. Hey. Hello? Oh, there they are. <gasps> Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Uh, I mean, you think that, but she seems pretty obsessed with us, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has a job to do. And that job's not just catching one thief. Ah, uh, no, I, I think. <laughs> oh, wrong yeah. Okay. You know, no kid. Bring them back to house and we'll start building a game plan. Yeah. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops. How can she be undercover? Off. Like she would stick Although, out like a freaking soul thumb. <laughs> but no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray could take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. No worries, Valdu. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, night, Valdu. Alrighty. So we can get some. And Rob stuff. will be streaming this again on Monday and Wednesday. Is the plan? That's the plan. All right. Where you go, Murray? Fist of flame. Press L one. Oh two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it do? Turns ordinary punches into fiery ones. Oh baby. That's uh. Oh. Oh. Yep. Basically, when you use the ability, it lights your fists on fire for an amount of time. Well, can't, can't punch the elephants. I think you're going to realize something soon enough as well. What? How are you going to get Murray in there? Oh, yeah. The drawbridge is up. I can't do it. All right. See you later, Murray. <laughs> I just wanted to see what his new thing was. <coughs> Alright, and we go again. And 
and climb. Yep. <laughs> Where you go, Super Saiyan. It's back. Whoop. Uh, that guy heard. Okay. So well. did the goat. Oh, there's a few of you here now. I yes. See. You're not good at this whole stealth thing, are you? I'm alright. I killed one guy. <laughs> I, I killed that one guy. <laughs> yes, and the whole palace noticed you. No. He only noticed me because I walked into his light. <laughs> alright. Can, well, that guy noticed start. you quite quickly. Yeah, but now they're dead, so it's okay. <laughs> Alright. Yo, can I... <laughs> Stealth! <laughs> <laughs> so sneaky. Much sneak. Is that where I'm supposed to go? I guess. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's yeah. one of them. There's lower the drawbridge, which you're not doing right now, apparently. No, well, I'm already here. <laughs> I'm here for the dance. Oh, sorry, uh, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? <laughs> what? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. <laughs> Gotta follow the dress code, Rob. yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. God dang it, Bentley. Why 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 did we not bring a suit? <laughs> Alright, let's know the drawbridge being is this isn't the way to go. What We get. <laughs> I wasn't all that impressed. All right, I'll do. <laughs> Thank you for dying. I appreciate it. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I doing? Lowering the drawbridge. Love to, pal. But the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Oh my god. Yep. All right. And remember, don't hit them because the keys will break. <laughs> god damn it, keys. Please die. Thank you. There's another one. Monkey Man, get out of here. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Who am I getting? There's one down here. Okay. Yep. Around. Or are you still coming this way? You're still coming this way. All right. So yeah, I told you you would get. There we go. Plenty of pickpocketing practice. <laughs> Come. Smack. Yeah. That's right. I don't know if that guy has a key, but he has something. Yeah, he does. 
want it. I want it. I want it. I got it. Smack. Oh, this guy had me. Nope. No, no. Excuse you. Hey. Oh man. Oh, I keep pressing this one. I need to press this one. There we go. It's like a guy over here, I think. Let's keep going around. Oh, there's a guy. I think I may have to call it after this mission for today. Yeah, that's fair enough. It'll have been about three hours. I realized I wasn't how, moving. How, how, how is this working? Rob. Up. How did that work? I am the embodiment of stealth. Look at How me did go. That work? Look, look at me go. <laughs> Excuse you? You're clearly not the embodiment of pickpocketing. Nope, can't do that, but I can stealth real good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, he's over this way. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh man, it's it's gonna take you way too long to find this one guy, isn't oh, where it? Is he? Where is he? Where is he? It's right he there. Just because he's on a balcony. God damn it! I knew he would be up high. Hang on. Oh, all right. Well, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. You going back up? Coming back up? You want to let go? Oh yeah. That guy down there seems to know who I am, uh, which is not Yeah, good. just jump on the bouncy thing. I didn't even realize those were bouncy. <laughs> I, I realized you didn't realize. And you would have never gotten to that balcony if you didn't realize. Nope. See you later. That's such an earthbound noise, I love it. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Okay, Rob, it's quite simple. Just steal the key and don't punch him in the face. Until you have the key. Now you can punch him. Smack. Well, you can't because you're sly, but you know. Too sly for punching. <laughs> you had a little trouble picking that bottle up, Rob. Nah. That bottle that was right next to you. Nah, it was fine. I, I got it. Oh, there goes that guy's treasure. <laughs> You've so far yet to pit pocket from the small guys. Nope. You told me that stuff isn't as good. So, why why I the said effort? I thought. I'm not entirely certain. Either way, it's definitely easier to pickpocket the large guys. It, it is. Because you sort of see their, uh, their vision. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's like way easier to be spotted by the small ones. To be fair. Alright, well, I'm up here now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Uh, Alright, where am I going? One over there, one over there, one over there. Yep. Alright. Off we go. Wrong button. There we go. I wasn't one of up, up, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> that guy heard a noise, so he's going to investigate. <laughs> well, he didn't he didn't see nothing. Oh, this guy did the I am he came back. <laughs> yeah. It would help if you actually killed that guy. Oh yeah. And that guy. You want some? Come get me. Oh, he can throw things. <laughs> Goddamn monkey throwing his poop at me. Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Maybe this guy chill out again. There we go. Come on. Come a little closer. I've got to say, I expected you to have failed a pickpocket at least once this mission at this point. I, I, I've learned my lesson. Have are, you? Are you just going to stand there now? Are you going to move? Yep, you've lost all chances to get him. He's just standing there forever. What? No, he actually does just stand guard there. Fuck. Unless you distract him by breaking something. Or other such means. Oh, thanks for that, Bentley. <laughs> thanks for that. Good. Oh, that was close. Die. <laughs> Bentley's always so helpful. He's he's so helpful. He gives me all the hints I need, you know, after I need them. Yep. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, there's another one. You just gonna stand there forever? Alright, I guess we have to go around. I think I can do that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, I see. Yeah, there you go. All right. So we gotta, we gotta get around over there. That's fine. God, that draw distance though. Yep. Yeah. Remember, this was a PS2 game. It's true. It was. The goat saw you. No goat. No goat. And he called his goat friend. No, other goat. I want nothing of you goats. Please get out of here and leave me be. We go again. We go again. All right. Remember this. I get it. I'm gonna get. Yeah. Out of here. I would hope that at this point you've noticed that when you're seeing the health icon flashes red and blue. I did notice that. I would say that I only noticed that, like, earlier on this mission, but I did notice it. <laughs> oh, oh, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
you also notice what happens when you're near an enemy. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Should be real close to do that. All right. Just one left, I think. Just the one over there. Right. Yep. Let's go. Let's go grab it. This guy. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I avoid the goddamn elephant too. Why would you avoid the elephant? Elephants are great. Cause he's gonna, he's gonna see me. So, Rob, wait for the elephant to come back around real quick, actually. Okay. If it comes around quickly, uh, it's fine then. You can spire jump on top of the tent. Oh, well, that's real cool. <laughs> and you can ride an elephant. Great. Hey, dude. You can't see me. So I'm just gonna walk see around. See who you. needs to worry about the elephant. That guy had a lot of coins. He, he really did. Alright. Yep. Add to the switch. Add to the drawbridge. If Rob remembers where the drawbridge is. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Rob. We good. This was so much cooler in the first game. Now Murray and I can access the palace grounds. What happened to you, Sly? <laughs> you used to undo locks with flair. Well, you're just like, I'm um, just gonna go and do it. <laughs> I guess they were like magic keys or something, so. No, not really. Oh no, they were secret keys, that's what they were called. Treasure keys. Treasure keys, that's the one. <laughs> you were so convinced, yeah, secret keys. Secret that's keys, the right term. that's the one. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Uh, right, this auto saves, right? So I, I should be should be good. Can I? I I I, I guess. Well, if you exit to episode menu, it'll guarantee an auto save anyway. What? Like it auto saves, but if you exit, it'll just save again, I believe. All right. Well, but out. yeah, you're you're good. We're good. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go through all of Sly 2 until it's done. Uh, and then at the end of Sly 2, we'll be playing whatever game is highest on the current vote, which at the moment is God of War. Another PlayStation game that I'll have to play yes. on my PS3. God damn it. <laughs> uh, or <laughs> it could be one at of the other games. At this point, Rob's really hoping that the PlayStation 5 can play PS3 games. So I really he hope it does. Have to touch the PS3 so I just again never have streaming. to touch the PS3 again. That would be great. I'd love that. <laughs> the PS3 was a good console, but streaming from it sucks. Uh, I mean, don't make it some daft, like, streaming service like it is on the PS4. I don't want to do that. I want to actually play the game. <laughs> um. But yeah, yeah. PS3 is just a pain to record because it's not HDMI. Basically, it's, that's basically it. It's not yeah. HDMI, which makes it a pain to record. <laughs> well, it is HDMI. Yeah, but you can't record the HDMI. <laughs> you can't record the HDMI without using exactly. some sort of way to get past. You need the to HD use some way to production. get past it, and the easiest way, honestly, is just to use component cables because it's hd still still 1080p hp um 
and uh, just then convert that to HDMI, which is how I've d But it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, you need the right kind of splitter as no, well. No, not just any splitter, because my splitter splitters. doesn't do it. <laughs> I exactly. have a HDMI splitter, it doesn't do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <sighs> PS3 is just not fun to record from. Like, honestly, that's the biggest reason anyone wants the PlayStation 5 to be PS3 backwards compatible, is just for streaming and recording. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. you can buy a PS3 for, like, what, 40 bucks? Yep. So the only reason it matters is for streaming and recording, really. It, yeah, that's, that's really it. Um... Anyway, yeah, God of War is currently winning. Uh, Undertale is in second place. Uh, and uh, Super Star Saga and Warriors Land have not had that much love. But... Nope. Super Star Saga got $2. Yeah, it's, it's not. And Warrior Land it's, has nothing. It's no poids. Uh, so, uh, yeah. It's, it's all up to you. Uh, with that all said. Thank you so much for watching. You should go and follow the channel. Uh, join the Discord. Follow Zach's channel. Uh, yes, because uh, after like another two weeks or so, I'll actually stream again. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> uh, with that all said, thanks so much for watching. Uh, and I'll, I'll catch you in the, uh, in the next stream. See you later.